Well, Hellickson, uh, he's exactly what we were looking for when we got him. His first half, half is over, and he's, uh, he's really stabilized our rotation. He's, he gives you a good six innings, seven sometimes, and throws strikes, and he's done a hell of a job for us. Uh, and his first half is over. He did a great job today. Uh, what can you say about Freddie? You know, like he needed a couple hits. He got them. And the home run, obviously, was huge. Nice to come back like that after getting behind. Ramos did a fine job, and uh, Hector struggled a little bit, but only gave up to one run and gave us a chance, and uh, we, we took advantage. Did you say something a little bit about Franco to begin that inning? Is his first well as he's swinging the bat? You know, you could get a little swing at you, but, you know, his walk, obviously, anytime you have a leadoff walk. It's I, I think if you were to, a betting man, you wouldn't have bet that he'd take a walk, you know, because he's trying to tie the game up. But uh, he had a great at bat there, and that, that's a good sign. He's homered in four games. Uh, he's getting on track, and uh, a lot of guys are. Cesar Hernandez, you know, I looked up, and they were shifting Galvis and, and Hernandez both, and they both uh, hit against the shift, which I'd like to see them do more often. Well, maybe not Freddie. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, but they ought to take advantage of that. But uh, it, it was good to see, you know, uh, Herrera, another couple of hits, uh, did a fine job. Two out RBIs, double off a left-hander, big hit. Um, Great homestand. Lefty, ready aside, when you see Boris get walk, get an intentional walk there, do you think, boy, that must have been three years ago that he was that well, night? And yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the, like I said, that's a great story. It, uh, he's come on so well that uh, you know, right now he's right now he's in ink in that second spot. Uh, he, he's made a great transition. Pete, you think more about how your team has become so reliant on the home run at this point? Well, if that's what we are, then I'll take it. You know, it's a lot easier to manage when you can sit back and wait for the two, three-run home runs. But uh, it's just, I think it's a, um, it's just because the guys are swinging the bats better. They're taking better approaches, and we started doing that in Minnesota throughout that uh, road trip, carried it on into the homestand, and. Uh, it's nice to see these guys have some good at-bats. It was good to see Chooch uh, battle, get behind, and then get that base hit. Um, just good for everybody all around. Yeah, you say that's, if that's what we are, do we, that's the funny part is this team has been so inconsistent this year. Do you know what you guys are? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I, think, I choose to believe we're the team that's played the last two weeks. That's how I, I choose to believe. Um, I know we had such a bad month of June. And I, I kept wondering why we weren't better, knowing that we had a chance to be better, and now we're, we're starting to swing better. And I think it's because guys like Franco are getting it together, and Borges came out of nowhere to started uh, started hitting, and Cesar Hernandez started hitting the ball on the ground, which we've been, you know, just uh, bombarding him with. Uh, little things like that that add up to uh, the success we're having. Part of the thing with Franco has been maybe trying to do too much and trying to carry the team. Do you think that the fact that you're having other people in the lineup who are hitting, you know, now allowing him to settle down a little bit? You know, I think that's, I think that's a, a good point. Uh, he's, uh, he looks like he's more under control, and it could be a product, a byproduct of the fact that other guys around him have starting to chip in where he doesn't feel like he has to do it all by himself. So. Uh, it's a very good boy, point, Kevin. Have, the fact that I said it was a good point is a good point for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> so. How much would you have for Morgan tomorrow? And why you guys, he had been in the rotation most recently, so he was your best bet there? Yeah, he, he stretched out enough to we, uh, he can go at least five, six innings for, as far as I'm concerned. You said on how sharp you thought Helgson was. He, he threw some pitches. Is he also a good example for your younger guys that, you know, you got to scratch through and just – on days when you might not be as sharp as you like. Yeah, he, he, uh, he kind of sets an example. And, and in fact, uh, I wonder if when uh, Velasquez pitched the other day uh, where he didn't have his overpowering fastball and he really pitched well. And he might have taken a page out of the book of Hellickson that day. And I mean, it, guys watch each other. I know Eflin uh, makes notes and takes, uh, takes notice of the other pitchers and hopefully our, the rest of our guys do. I mean, you have years too. You hear the talk about trade deadline Helix and trade deadline Boros. These are guys that, I don't know, for lack of better, you're building some sort of momentum or vibe here. How hard is that to the oddity of that, of managing guys that you're not sure you'll 
Well, it is what it is. It's part of the game. You know, last year when we made the trades, it was a big transition, a big deal. But, you know, in Hellickson's case, uh, you know, I, I would hate to lose him. However, if we ever, if they did trade him, I don't even know what's going on. That's not my area. But if they did, I'm sure we would get something that we'd really like in return. But uh, you hate to lose a guy like that who sets a tone for the rest of the, the staff.